Hi, I'm Dave Cuthbertson, a director at AssetGen. This video covers our Diagram Organizer module in the Visual Utilities Suite. We developed this uh, module because we wanted to be able to select shape based on embedded data, to select configuration items in ITIL service maps to be able to highlight and show dependencies and risks, and also to filter out connected devices so that you can often use a Visio diagram and do your own interactive impact and dependency analysis. I'll start with the embedded data. This is a network diagram produced by our AssetGen Connect system. This shows the relationships between various switches and the connections between them all. And one of the techniques that we use is to embed data in all of the shapes, both the connectors and the links. And to give an example, if I do a right click on this switch, I have data embedded in here. And on the right hand side, you can see there is various configuration data, such as where it is, how much power it consumes, IP addresses, whatever was either in the spreadsheet or database that generated this. The same applies to all of the links that we see here. The links have the port names, they have the cards. You might have additional information, IP addresses, VLANs and other things. We developed the Select My Data module in order to be able to bring out and show differences between things when it's actually quite difficult to work out because the data is embedded away. So let me take you through a description. In the Acigen Utils, you can see at the top we have the Diagram Organizer module. We have Select by Data, Filter, and Select. The Select and Filter that you see there I'll cover later, but we'll start with Select by Data. So if I do Select by Data, this will look through all of the data on the shapes on the page and select them for you without you having to individually know exactly which ones are which. So if I want to display all the high-speed gigabit links that link all of the core switches and things, you can do this a number of ways. The easiest way is to say, let's take any of the data parameters that you see there. And as you can see, the embedded data is now displayed. So I'm going to take the port name, and I'm going to say, if any ports start with the letter G for gigabit, what could be G10 if it was 10 gig, select all of those shapes. So select all shapes on the page. And you can now see that there's a number of shapes all selected. And then I'll just highlight them visually by going and saying, let's make them red. And let's make them also, let's make them red and give them a weight that then highlights and emphasizes their higher speed and capacity. So very simple way to actually show things which could also apply to standby links and any other aspects. Here is another way of using the select by data where I have a whole load of servers that have been transferred onto the page in an automated way from a spreadsheet and I want to highlight and show differences between them. Uh, maybe visually but also I may want to move them around the page. So if I click on any server, so I click on this blade server we have on the right hand side a number of different sets of data. In this case what I want to do is I want to look at the business owners of these so I would understand billing information but also change control and risk. Who would I get approval from? I know this one here has the term here bank. So obviously the business owner of this is bank. So I can use that data by copying it. Go to my select by data. Choose the uh, owner business equals bank and then select all the shapes on the page that meet that criteria. And what I'll do is I'll do two things. I'll color code them so it's a bit easier to see. Let's color code them with a fill. And then let's also, while they're still all selected, let's move them up to another part of the page. So I can then organize them, potentially put them in a container or on a separate page. So these are all the bank servers. If I click on another server here, the server and I look at its shape data. Its business owner is unallocated. So I can select that and select all unallocated servers where we don't know who the owners are. Select by data. Take the owner business equals unallocated. Select all the shapes on the page and I may want to choose them as a different color code. Let's make them a different color. Let's make them um, 
um, darker color and I might align them uh, line top and bring them down so I have them here and the other ones that we have here this one here is got an owner of investments so I can take that go to my utilities and then select all business owners that equal investments and of course this could apply to anything and make them yet again a different color to highlight them and I may as I said move them to a different page put them somewhere very simple way of selecting things and then organizing for heat maps where you want to show differences in ownership but also you could do the same to then say that these servers haven't been patched so let's color code them red because they're not up to date with their operating system so that is the select by data utility just to finish off with this you can always go back to previous selections and select information as well as you can see there so the, all we're doing there is effectively making it an easy way to select things on large diagrams where data may have been transferred in bulk or the diagrams already there and you want to analyze it or reuse it for a different purpose I'll now move on to the next utility which is filter the filter option that you see here at the top if I bring that down is also made available on the right click menu so you click on any device or any shape that you see so if I took for instance here Documentum as an application this is a little service map showing the relationship between application business services and the underlying infrastructure it's an example of how you could do it there's many other ways of doing it this one's just been produced automatically by our system mapping software if I do a right click on Documentum you'll see on the bottom right side you'll see that then that same option that you see in the ribbon is also put in for convenience so that we can easily filter and show things. So if I move to uh, View Connected, this will use that Documentum as the focus and then we'll show all of the underlying components and infrastructure that support it and all of the services that use it. So in effect, it's allowed me to remove all the clutter and if I want to remove the filter, I just do a right click on it again, go to Filter, Remove Filter and everything then comes back again. And it means there I was looking at it from an application perspective. I could look at it here, for instance, say uh, tax returns, and I want to understand everything that delivers tax returns because it's a bit too difficult to work it out. And there's a view. And this could be copied and pasted onto a separate page so we can break down a big diagram into smaller diagrams, or we can just interactively look at different components and just see and understand dependencies without having to do any reports. And to remove the filter, I then just take this off. Very simple, makes it very easy to understand complexity. The final option that you see in our diagram organizer module is the select option. And yet again, it's also available as a right click. And this is where we want to break things down and cut and paste them, or maybe we want to change the highlights. And so as an example, I'll go to another ITIL service map to show you this. So here's a, a different type of service map where we're showing databases, virtual systems, and physical boxes at the bottom. And I may want to then see and understand the impact at different levels in different ways. So an example could be, here I have an Oracle database. Now if I do a right click on this, I can now select. And I can select everything downstream of it, every child device that supports it, or all the parent devices, or all the parent devices and their connectors lots of different ways but what I'm going to select in this case is parents and connectors so this is showing you everything that this database supports and maybe what I'll do is I'll just highlight them with color coding so let's make uh, the line red between everything let's then also uh, add an extra bit of weight to, for emphasis and then the final thing is let's add some dashes also and now we can see what that Oracle database would impact what part of the infrastructure because I'm visually highlighting so you can see the context of where everything else is. So very simple, very quick and easy to use. So I hope that gives you a good understanding of our diagram organizer module. It will help you process and also analyze and use existing Visio drawings, particularly where there's data embedded 
or where there's a degree of complexity that you want to simplify and bring out. To explore more about automated video diagramming, we offer online and on-premise training. With our focus on IT systems and infrastructure diagramming, we aim to transfer skills which are beyond books and general Visio functionality. If you wish to move on to full Visio automation where diagrams are automatically drawn for you on a large scale and are maintained and updated using overnight batch processes, have a look at our asset gen system where we cover various technologies from the physical to the logical infrastructure for both IT and non-IT systems.